Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh my god, we're back to Meeple Station. People who've been watching the channel a while might recognize this game. I've played it before. We are gonna start anew. The game is updated enough that I think it's warranted. So we got all of our fun stuff like building thingamabobs. And look at this, it lists all the floors we can be on. 32 glorious planes of existence. The game's nice enough to give us this beautiful list of essentials. So let's start by building some basic floor. Wait a minute. Shag orange carpet? Well, don't mind if I do. Last time we built a space station that actually looked like it made sense. Probably not gonna happen this time. We're gonna start with everything being one big room. And of course, you've got to give it some airlocks. Let's go ahead and put those, oh, you know, all over. We can't have people not having options, can we? Airlock, check. We're basically almost there. Solar panels. Can I go one floor down? Oh, I can, and I can build them right underneath. Sort of like a red carpet for the airlock. We need to have a power cell, so let's go ahead and just put a square right above the solar panels and just slap a power cell. I wonder if that'll work. Here's how we route power, by the way. Go over to our utilities tab, and then we just kind of run the various things we need, like electricity and water. I know that's supposed to be sewage, but I want to believe that's straight up just so you can get poop to all the rooms. So yeah, I actually think that works. So we're just gonna run this down like that. I mean, honestly, why wouldn't you just like run the whole grid over the whole thing? Same deal with the old water pipes. Now we need to add this barely necessary thing called life support. Ugh, you need water to function. I thought this was the future. Here you go. It's like a kegger, but for water, for space water. All right, what's next? Suit rack? This is where the meeples put on their Sunday best and go outside and face the vacuum of space. Food source, huh? Well, nothing says food source like a fish tank. Right next to it, we're gonna put the ice processor, because no kegger is complete without ice. We're gonna do a little offshoot room over here, and this is where we're gonna put all of these unmentionables, like the rock crusher, because no one needs to see how we make our goods. Oh, and the food dispenser we'll go ahead and put out here somewhere. There you go. It's like your first one bedroom apartment, except nowhere to sleep. Something that's in the game now that wasn't there before. <gasps> a bathroom. Meeples, don't say I never did anything for you. You just have to, you know, put on the spacesuit to go out to it. This thing also has a poop icon. I'm kind of afraid to start the game before we get it out there, so let's take a look at our options. Waste ejector. Slowly ejects waste into space. Okay. Okay, so we can obviously have it facing outside, but God, I wish we could have it facing inside. What if I, like, remove this and then have this guy facing in like that? Ah, cool, look at that. It's magically producing and blasting waste. Who am I to judge, really? There it is. What am I missing? Oh, a docking gantry. I'm actually gonna take our docking gantry and put it over here where the bathroom is. Your pit stop is literally a pit stop. I have honestly no idea if this is sufficient. Here's the next step. Before you just kind of got a couple of people at random, now you start with five people. And before they had kind of wild fun names, and now they're literally like nouns and adjectives. Old faucet and eyeball, you're always getting into trouble. So let's just keep slamming reroll till we see something we like. This seems like the perfect group of miscreants right here. Jellyfish, wombat, forehead, nutmeg, and velvet. Velvet. Can't wait to get acquainted, but you can actually customize all of this now. We're taking away everyone's social ability, like all of it. You can also assign them different traits now. There are some that are considered good and some that are bad. I think it's fair to say that all of our meeples are going to be violent. I'm not sure why that's a downside. And each one's going to get something else to color out their persona. Jellyfish, you're going to be messy. And you can only assign two of these, unfortunately, so that's all the jellyfish gets. Wombat, you're going to be pretentious. Forehead, you're going to be a loud snorer. Nutmeg, you're going to be clumsy. And Velvet, it, you're gonna be astrophobic. Have fun being afraid of space. Let's make everybody wildly strong, somewhat hardy, vaguely intelligent, not social in the slightest, and now let's give them stuff they're theoretically good at. Okay, here we are. Have some fun getting acclimated to your new home. Yep, that's what I like to see. Okay, it looks like you guys are finally getting along mildly. So if we zoom out, we get some fun stuff out here. First thing we're gonna start mining is some ice because we need the water. Because if we run out of water, the life support can't function or the toilets. Not that they seem concerned with toilets. They seem content to just leave their mess anywhere. Let's go over here to our meeple tab. That's what I like to see. Everyone's moods are already starting to suck. Thankfully, our skill chart here tells us exactly what these people need to be. Janitor it up, my man. Captain Requ- Cap- What? I almost forgot. We have to go over here to the high hierarchy, and we have to assign a captain, which is gonna be Wombat. There he is, looking all distinguished. But now we can assign some roles, which means jellyfish, janitor, nutmeg for now, we're gonna have you go mine some stuff. Velvet, you too, despite the fact you're astrophobic. There's that exciting moment where they strap on their gear and go outside. How did that do for the air in here? Really not good. I like it. Oh man, Velvet is so not okay with this. <laughs> oh, Velvet, I'm so sorry. I mean, I get that you're sad, but this isn't where you need to go to mine stuff. Oh wow, I already got this achievement. Entire 
entire crew is sad at the same time. You know, I'm starting to think he's not gonna mine anything. Oh, is he gonna use the bathroom? No, he just found a place to cry. Okay, now both of my miners have entered the bathroom. Y'all just gonna hang out in here now? What's happening? You guys having like a moment where you're just gonna talk it out? I don't think these guys are ever coming back. Everyone is starving to death. Why? What's it gonna take to get you guys to come back over here? Because now that the real game has started, I actually can't just build floors. Like, look, they cost steel. I don't have steel because you guys won't get out there and start mining. Oh, no. Looks like these two are taking a quick nap. And by nap, I mean going on vacation permanently. Wait, did you guys die too? Well, where did I go wrong? Hold, please. Fine, have it your way. We'll have a standard airlock. We're gonna make one change, though. We're gonna make our minor dude here a little less afraid of space. Because as we saw, he will do literally nothing. So instead, we're gonna make him afraid of clowns. Okay, guys, you happier now? Pooping on the ground already? Cool. Wombat, nice to see you as captain again. Velvet, our resident miner, get out there. And let's make sure to enable trade on the docking bay. Maybe this will go better this time. Now that the oxygen doesn't leave the space forever. Look at that, we've already got a ship coming. Come, enjoy the bathrooms. I'm sorry, bathroom. I love it. At this present moment, we have nothing to trade but fish. Meanwhile, these lovely folk are mining some quartz and magnetite stuff. So we have a meeple over here who once again went into this airlock and is now just sitting here. Also, everybody is hungry beyond belief. What are you, too good to eat unless you can sit down? Okay, you all get to share one chair. Oh my god, you know what I realized? Three of my guys are just clustered right here. Why are you all just sitting here like this? Oh, come on, you guys. Oh, did you guys die too? I can't tell with the door in the way. You guys really all died again? You wouldn't feed your Yourself. Ugh. Okay, here we are back in the building stage. I didn't want to have to build the chair here because I kind of felt like cheating, but we're going to do it because from the start of the game until we can build a chair, all of our meeples die. As much as it pains me, I'm also going to connect the bathroom because it's clear these guys cannot figure it out. But hopefully it means our dudes won't get stuck right here anymore. You guys only get the one chair, okay? Make it last. The game was also crying out for a waste bin, so we'll go ahead and put one of those down too, all the way at the end of this hallway. Okay, I'm sure this is going to be a very successful station this time. Cool. You you guys have been alive for like three seconds and you're already pooping on things. You gonna eat now? Or do you need a table too? Unhappy to the core, that's what I like to see, but maybe you guys can go out there into space and find something exciting. Yeah, walk all the way over there. Yeah, throw away your garbage. Okay, we solved this other problem. These guys come in through the airlock and actually walk back now. Oh my god, they're using the bathroom. A meeple can learn. Oh my god, you guys are still hungry? Why? Are you just too upset to eat? Jeez, is this what you guys needed? You needed a table? Please finish building it. Okay, don't finish building it. Yeah, dude. Dude, I feel your pain. We're out of H2O. Well, there we go again. I don't remember meeples being this finicky before. I think we've learned some hard lessons like we can't make the bathroom separate from the other stuff. Clearly, meeples do not cope well with long distances. So we're gonna make a nice big glass hell instead, which we're gonna pepper with gross tiling. Pretty is probably not the right word, but at least it's got some color. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's like a square on a grandma quilt. And in this grandma square, we're gonna put the fish tank as well as a couple of these glass chairs so that you people can stop complaining about not having a place to eat. We're gonna set up multiple waste ejectors over here. Here. It's looking great. This square is reserved for all the like processing and stuff. Just to mess with the symmetry a little bit, this is going to be our little airlock right here. And the rest of this square is going to be used for one thing and one thing only. The porcelain throne. And also some water tanks so you can wash your hands with the drinking water. And it's kind of a weird offshoot. We're going to have our docking gantry right here. And last but not least, cheap beds for all. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually made of wood. And we're going to slap these guys uncomfortably everywhere we can. Okay, game, did I do better this time? Can we have a functional space station now? Now, we're also going to do a different crew this time. We're going to do the dream team. Flying in from Tech Corp, we got Jane Miller, who I've decided is going to be a violent insomniac. Next, flying in from Rise of Ages, we got Johnny Hotbody. Him being from the Stone Age and all is definitely going to be violent. Honestly, probably callrophobic. Can't imagine JH has ever seen any clowns, but I'm sure he wouldn't like it if he did. Coming in from my tech support playthrough, we've got Lunchtime. Mmm. Clearly vulgar. Definitely pretentious. Writing his way into the game from drafting tales. We've got the famous author Chicken Tenders. Pretentious definitely. And probably some level of a virtuoso. And last but not least we have Grace. Excuse me ma'am are you Grace? <laughs> Nighty night. Clumsy. Probably a loud snorer. Zero everything. Hopefully that means she can't even walk or talk. Okay dream team assembled. Let's go be successful. Cool. Unhappy already. That's what I always like to see. Maybe it's all the poop being thrust at you. I don't know. Okay it's job time. Chicken tenders. We're gonna make you the officer in charge. Jane we gave you the skills of an engineer but for now we're gonna make you a miner. Same with you lunchtime. Johnny Hotbody you were born for this. And Grace see if you can manage being a janitor. Oh this is the magic. This is the magic. I can feel it. There you go Grace doing a great job. 
job. Also, who poops in the hallway like that? I just love that we were able to give Grace literally no skills as before for the millionth time. Let's have these amazing people do some sweet, sweet mining so that when someone comes in to trade with us, we have something to give them. Mostly because I forgot to build a freaking waste bin, so that's going to be the first thing. Look at that. Who does that? Right outside the restroom. On the purple carpet, even. Do you see how our station's just getting showered? Okay, so a gentleman caller showed up. We're going to sell them a bunch of this stuff. We'll buy us a whole bunch of steel. What are you two doing? Don't do that. Bad things come out of there. While well, these people are living their sad, sad lives, sleeping on wood mattresses, let's take a look at some of the other new stuff that's in the game. For example, look at the new map. Yep, that's the sun, all right. And now you can look at other planets that have minerals and stuff. And if we just keep going and going, there's all kinds of fun planets I think we can go to. And this goes hand in hand with ships, which we obviously don't have any yet. But in our docking thingamajiggy here, we can also construct ships now, you know, with all those materials we don't have. But honestly, this time around, that is our goal. The other thing that happens too is once these ships show up, occasionally they will bring to us new meeples. I love how Chicken Tender's over here. When he goes to sleep, he just deflates. You know what? Instead of making a waste bin to get rid of this message, I'm just gonna reassign Grace. Just be a citizen that doesn't contribute to anything. And there we go. No more waste bin message. I realize a kind of a byproduct to that is now there's poop everywhere. But that's okay. A little human waste all over the ground never hurt anybody. Oh, I love looking at the activity log and seeing this. Hideous station. Oh my god, I didn't know multiple piles could be in one square. <laughs> Sitting there eating and being like, wow, there's a lot of crap here. Never mind, gotta go to bed. Oh, please give me another meeple. Please give me another meeple. Yes! Puppy! All social. I am so confused. Quick. Grace check. Oxygen. Good. Mood. Low. Stress. Ultra high. A plus 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 plus. Infection? But how? Puppy's wounds have become infected. Puppy, how did you get hurt in the first place? How did you scrape your neck exactly? Let's see if we can figure out how he hurt himself from his log here. He just came to us suffering great pain. Oh, that's a him problem as far as I'm concerned. Puppy fell unconscious. That's usually not a good thing. You may want to look into that. Nah, puppy's fine. He was probably just having a mo- Oh, oh. <laughs> come on, dude, get up. But I mean, he is still doing his job, so I'm not really sure what the problem is. <laughs> wow, puppy, you're in really bad shape now. Did you do this to yourself from all the falling over? I kind of think it's a good look for the space station. Just have one meeple that's constantly passed out. Oh my god, puppy, this all-star from a scraped neck? Oh, followed by some death. Wait, is that him? What's he doing? I honestly don't know what puppy is doing. <laughs> Does he just live like this forever? Cool. Well, we have our own resident spirit. Whatever. You know what I just realized? I don't think that a docking gantry has to be associated with the space station specifically. Like, if I just put a plate down, can I just slap a docking gantry on it? Oh yeah, enable trade <laughs> to this little square in space. I'm happy that no matter what I have Grace doing now, her mood, always zero. Just like the Grace we know and love. One thing we're gonna add to the mix is a research desk, which will allow us to research all kinds of fun new things, which we'll go ahead and put, I don't know, over here near the bathroom. Why the hell not? Ironically, one of the least disgusting places on the station. Now, if we click over on the research tab, right now, we're really just going to research what it takes to get to shuttle manufacturing, which is four different things. So we'll go ahead and start with waste processing. And why not? We'll have Grace take over the researching stuff. Oh, good. We have a friend here. Yeah, chase Grace into the bathroom. I'm going to continue to just put down a bunch of random spots of glass. And with these piles of glass comes step number two. Docking gantries galore. Don't do it, Grace. Grace, don't do it. I know the thing says suicide, but you don't have to do it. Don't do what the creature did. Okay, so the game said Grace committed suicide. While we have been collecting new meeples like herring, blade, and licorice, Grace is no longer to be seen. But Grace is clearly not dead. She's just standing right there. So don't worry about it. Grace is fine. This is just what she does now. Stares longingly at the airlock while creatures just kind of hang out with her. Okay, so waste processing is currently done. Next thing we're going to move on to, advanced electricity. Electronics. I wonder what I can do to get the stress down on all these meeples. What do you think? Maybe some plants? Let's go with this questionably phallic one. We'll just put these all right in the center here. So the station is even harder to get around. If this doesn't help your stress, I don't know what will. Okay, advanced electronics is now done. Let's move on to whatever this thing is. Ah, advanced power production. Hmm, doesn't seem to be helping the stress levels. Maybe it's the grotesque environment. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? I gave you guys a bathroom. You didn't have to do this. Well, it finally happened. Someone got dropped off at one of these little way stations. Thankfully, it's one of the clown people. He's not part of my crew. Does he just stay here forever? Oh, good. It happened for real. We got a new meeple over here. Squash. <laughs> okay, so he's stuck here, right? Just like this clown down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, look at his log. Feeling lonely. Need someone to talk to. Feeling lonely. Need someone to... T enjoying free time. That seems incompatible with the other stuff you're saying. What if I build this guy like a little home? And in this home, I give you a 
food dispenser. I know you're starving, dude. Just hang in there. No, you couldn't hold on. Well, okay then. Okay, advanced power production finished. That leaves just one thing left. Fuel processors. And I got this worried feeling that Jane Miller and Lunchtime and Chicken Tenders and Johnny Hotbody, their stress levels are a little high. Okay, fine, guys. I'm gonna do the thing that I didn't want to do. Build them some quarters, because maybe that'll relieve their stress a little bit and they won't jump out of an airlock. That is, if they can finish building this in time. Looks like Jane and Lunchtime couldn't hold on. There they go into oblivion. Okay, guys, seriously, stop jumping out of the airlock. Look how close we are. Our crew's getting down a little low, but I've got faith. Wait a minute, chicken tenders, why are you so hungry? What's happening? Are you stuck? What's happening over here? Just go help yourself to some food, buddy. Yeah, Blade, help him out. Or just go get some food of your own. That's cool. Maybe you want to give him a candy bar? Oh, or he could just die behind that console. And then there were three. Johnny Hotbody, please don't do anything drastic. I suppose the plus side is we don't need to make as many bedrooms. Everyone gets a glass room with glass walls and a glass bed. Oh, Johnny Hotbody. Okay, you two randos. Let's get on this. And Grace, you just keep gracing. And there we go. The most uncomfortable bedrooms ever. You know, gotta admit, with everyone dead, it's rather peaceful in this game. Oh, we got a new meeple. Airbag. What a name. Okay, we're gonna mount a rescue mission, kinda. Hang tight, buddy. Help is on the way. Hopefully in time. All you need to do is not die. Oh, Christ. Another one here, too. Okay, let's see if we can build salvation over to you, too. Hang in there, kamikaze. Good God, you guys don't have uplifting names. Just hang in there, dude. We're almost there. What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, abandon this for now. Focus on this rescue mission instead. Freedom, it tastes so sweet. Go get you some food. I guess we might as well finish this weird maze of a thing we have going on here. <gasps> new arrival. Dill. Really? Get another new meeple. There they go. I can't imagine what those first steps are like walking into the station like, ah, my new home. Oh, God. Whispers. Well, this is a psychotic bunch. New meeple. And their name is Casket. Wow. Violent, depressive. You don't say. And now it's time to move on to what I've been waiting for this entire time. Shuttle manufacturing. Ah, yet another new meeple. Underpants. I <laughs> like how he's trying to get back onto his spaceship. Grace, what do you think of all this? My thoughts exactly. Well, I never thought we'd reach this point. We've managed to research shuttle manufacturing. Now we can leave these homeless bums behind and construct ourselves a mega ship. And by that, I mean basic shuttle. We have all the materials. Now all we need is the will. Oh, Christ, this is gonna take like a million years. All hands on deck. Let's build this thing. Yeah, you help too, you little Pac-Man ghosts. I don't honestly care how many people died to get here. The important part is we have our own spaceship now. Okay, here we go. Our willing participants are all here. I 100% didn't invite most of these people on the voyage, but whatever. Off you go. We're gonna send you guys over to here. Vicario AG. You are about to send your crew and cargo to a new location. When they arrive, you will need to help them construct a station and- Ugh! Fine, they're ready. God, what I wouldn't give for these two ships to crash right now. Surely they'll let us know when they arrive, right? Okay, it looks like my small shuttle is in transit for the next 58 hours. You know what? I grow tired of this space station and the very few inhabitants left. How can we kill all of these people? Actually, you know what? I think I know of a simple way. Get rid of life support. Okay, great. Oxygen is depleting slowly but surely, and before long, everybody will be dead. Captain's log. Oxygen is reaching an all-time low. Everybody died as they lived, basically naked on their own bed, surrounded by poop, and generally unhappy. The ship arrived and is already returning. What? Let's click over to the map here. Go to station. Oh, God. And just like that, it all begins begins again. We have a new location to build a new station with our amazing crew of Blowgun, Kamikaze, and Kitty. And that, my friends, is the Meeple Station Circle of Life. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I think we killed all of our Meeples except for a couple. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode of Meeple Station, and I'll see you next time.